Well hello again everybody and welcome back. So today, uh, or in a few minutes, you'll be seeing a video hopefully of uh, something I did yesterday. And we're back in the wood shop and it involves this nice American six pin mortise cylinder. But more of that when we get onto the video. But I thought I would just do this little section in front because I got home today to find a gift from Mr. Pickbeard himself of the big book of wooden locks plans for nine completely working locks absolutely awesome I've had a quick flick through not looked at it too much yet but we have a whole selection of locks uh, basically the plans are in there for all of these locks, if we can see that. With, let's find a, all the full plans for them all, as you can see, with all the diagrams and instructions. So I'm going to have to work on my maths a bit because this is obviously an American book with everything in inches and I work in millimetres. I'm not used to fractions anymore. Long time since I used them. But a lot of information in here. Here we go, just some of the locks. Give you an idea of the size of them. But a very, very nice book showing you how to make the keys, the internal mechanisms, wooden springs, shackles, the whole lot. Absolutely awesome present. Many, many thanks for that, Mr. Pickbeard. And you can be assured that as soon as I start working on some of these, one of them will be heading your way as soon as it's done. So, thanks again for that. That is absolutely awesome. I'm really looking forward to having a go at that. And in the meantime, we shall play the video that I made yesterday, which does involve this American mortise lock. So, thanks for being here watching. Hope you enjoy the next part. I'll see you again soon. Well, hello again everybody welcome back and today we have the start of a new project uh, this one's going to take a little while so it'll be done over a few videos over a period of time uh, I don't know how well this is going to work out uh, but what we do have is an American lock a six pin mortise cylinder All works nicely with the keys and with what we have here the idea is to make a, a double sized version of that exact lock in wood so there's certain things I have worked out a lot of this I can do on the lathe uh, the barrel even the pins I've got a selection of different woods here a uh, bit of American black walnut which is going to be the body of it. Uh, I'm probably going to use a bit of purple heart. These are just all bits out of my scrap bin. Purple heart is the probably the toughest wood I've got. So that's going to be the barrel uh, because of the strength in it. I've got some American cherry and walnut. Uh, sorry, maple, which we can make a key and some pins out of. I haven't worked out how to create the warding yet. I've got a couple of ideas, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, so just a little journey through. Anybody got any suggestions on how I can do bits on here? Then leave it in the comments below. Uh, but we're going to start off today. I'm going to just rough up this and create the body of the lock. 
on the lathe and then we'll carry on from there at a later date. So give me a minute, I'll get this set up in the lathe and we'll have a quick go at that. Right, so we've got the bit of black walnut in the lathe, it's between centres at the moment, just to try and get it rounded off a little bit and we're going to stick a tenon on one end so we can then fit it in the chuck for doing all the nice bits on it. So we're going to get it down to the outer diameter of the lock here and then we can create that face and there. So I'll do a little bit of stick this lock to one side. I'll just do a little bit of rounding this off and then get the tenon made and we'll stick it in the chuck. So there we are with it just about round. So the next thing is going to be creating the tenon on the back edge. So I'm going to turn the camera off to get that done. Uh, just because it's easier without the camera in the way while I'm working. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, well hopefully you can see here we've now got it in the chuck you can see the tenon I created I've turned it round so it's down to the full size we need for the diameter of the lock and as we can see we've got markings on here so the first marking here is so we can face off this end to get rid of the little divot in the end where the live center is so we don't have to worry about that then we've got the marking for the flange on the lock here so this section here will then come down in size and there's the full width of the lock so I shall get on do a bit of that and then we'll come back right so we've got it to this stage now I'm going to leave this back portion on just in case I need to put it back in the lathe for anything uh, but you can see dimensions we are effectively double sized so the next job will be sorting out about getting the barrel in here which will be drilling a hole in here turning the barrel uh, and then thinking about how we're going to make some warding for it but that'll do for the minute just zoom in here See if we'll focus. So there we go, the two next to each other. And we shall be back sometime in the not too distant future to carry on with it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.